Ja, also wir sind da jetzt auf Landsort angekommen und wir haben hier eine Küstenartillerie, die was ein sehr interessantes Ladesystem hat und eine sehr hohe Feuerrate und zwar und vor allem sehr hohe Zielgenauigkeit auch bei 25 Schuss pro Minute. Kann sie auf 20 Kilometer hat sie eine Zielgenauigkeit von ungefähr 10 Metern. Da auf Landsort hat es drei solche Kanonen gegeben. Äh, insgesamt rund um Schweden haben wir 18 Stück davon gehabt. Die da ist die einzige, die noch existiert. Äh, dementsprechend geöffnet als Museum auch, damit man drinnen die Technik bestaunen kann. Äh, das Ganze war natürlich eben, um die Russen davon abzuhalten, bei uns äh, an Land zu gehen. Ja, und hier kann man ja schon mal die Zuluft oder Abluft erkennen. Da habe ich jetzt zuerst nicht so Das ist die Abluft. Das ist die Abluft, ja. Und die Anlage wäre ja praktisch, ist gebaut worden für einen Direkttreffer auch wieder, ne? Ja. Und zwar, damit das Ganze einem, einer 100 Kilotonnen Bombe standhalten soll. Kann ich gerne mitkommen. Aha. Jetzt im Moment ist sie in gefechtsbereiter Position. Das heißt, sie ist angehoben. Ah, okay. Da, damit sie auf den Rädern gedreht werden kann. Okay. Äh, bei äh, bevorstehenden äh, Atombombentreffer hätte man das Ganze ausgehoben, hydraulisch und abgehoben von der Schiene und abgestellt, damit das komplett versiegelt wird mit dem Berg. Äh, das Kanonenrohr wäre dann da drüben eingespannt worden. Ah, das ist interessant, ja. Das ist die Verankerung vom Kanonenrohr, damit die Kanone direkt nach dem Einschlag auch gleich wieder einsatzbereit ist und das Rohr nicht beschädigt wird. Und da ist die Abdeckung von dieser... Wahrscheinlich. Genau. Aha. Die fünffache Sprengkraft von Hiroshima hätte es standgehalten, was ich jetzt so mitbekommen habe. Vollkommen richtig. Von der Führung. Und da ist die andere, das ist die Zuluft, glaube ich. Ja, das ist die Zuluft. Das ist die Zuluft, ja. äh, Mit riesengroßen Filter äh, unten drinnen im Berg, äh, die alle bekannten Gase komplett rausfiltern können und auch äh, äh, strahlende Partikel nach, nach einer Atomsprengung. Okay, it's a, it's a 12, uh, it's a 12 cm gun. It could fire 25 rounds a minute. That's always one grenade every second second. And, uh, <laughs> and with that high velocity of, of firing, uh, you had to shield the gun, otherwise it would bend. Understand that? Yeah. Hmm? So that's why the, the tube outside the barrel, that's a shielding water tube. So far below here in the mountain, there is a big shielding water uh, container. And now, if you look at The sea here, you can see two islands on the, yeah. ho on the horizon here, and you can only see to the horizon because uh, the earth is round. Yeah. Everyone doesn't believe that anymore, I <laughs> but uh, I believe it. So you can see to the islands there, it's about 10 kilometers away. You could fire to those islands and another 17 kilometers. And when you fire at that, Far distance, the rounds went up in the air 10,000 meters. So every time you fired at the maximum distance, you had to call all under. Mm. So uh, uh, the commercial airlines went on the uh, on the same mm -hmm. height. Okay. So, now you have passed through two thick walls and two thick uh, iron woods, okay? And one of them must always be closed when you have duty inside. 
because in the fortress you had overpressure to prevent gas to come inside. That's why. But that overpressure was so high that you, so you woke up in the first morning with headache. But it, it is in papers, so no problem. And here you can also use this water to clean you from uh, gas or nuclear decontamination. Yes, decontamination. To the right. To the right. <coughs> all, all the way through that door in front of you. Okay, and we stop here. Here, uh, the, the whole fortress should survive one month without connection with the outside world. And that's no problem with food, of course. The problem so far out on the sea is, because, of course, water. So you can see the pump is there, water pump, and uh, the hood of four is on the right side there. Okay. Um, there, the on the left. But uh, what, what you can see down here, I'm protesting it against that. I, I want to go down there. Because yeah. there you can see how it was built to survive a nuclear blast of 100 kiloton. And it's big bulks like this one, and they are rest, uh, They are put on rubber cushions. Mm -hmm. That's rubber cushions to survive the shock wave. Yeah. You must uh, survive the shock wave. It comes at once, well, and uh, so they, that you can see down there. Sorry, I can't show you that one. In in, uh, in this room, there were the private soldiers. The soldiers without the rank, mm -hmm. they lived in here. There were two officers here, two sergeants. But you know, officers in the Swedish defense, they always have their own room. The firing station. Hmm? Yes, but, but not for the big gun. Okay. The, the, this has nothing to do with the big gun. So forget that for a moment. This is anti-aircraft room. From here you directed and fired two Bofors anti-aircraft guns, 40 millimeters. And those guns they, they fire with a velocity of uh, rounds for 240 a minute. That's four every second. And those uh, rounds they feel when they are seven meters from the enemy airplane. Then they explode all of them. So you don't have to hit the plane. It's enough to come in close in on them, and all of them explode. And uh, you, you got a, a picture here, and you could follow that the, the plane here with this joystick. Mm -hmm. And when you use this joystick, the two anti-aircraft guns, you can't see them anymore because they are not here anymore. But they stood on, on the mountain here, too. And uh, they followed. When you move this one, they followed. Yes. Uh, they were t target following. And when he decided, now, uh, now you have to open fire, he put his foot on this trigger here, and all the guns went uh, uh, f fired. That's the filter room. He can clean every gas. Uh, no task gun, huh? So, every museum in Sweden must have a rescue exit. So, that's a Oh, this is a This is cool.
that that work of is supposed not to Chelsea, but Leerhusen of Deutsch uh, and uh, 20 in, in each one, and to move them from the walls round this. This is the loading table. To move them from there to the loading table, you had two power crafts. Here is one of them. If you, if you pull this, it, the, the air goes down on the floor and it lifts from the floor. Okay. But it's enough to go there and get 25 rounds, uh, with each one with a weight of 46 kilo from the walls. And there are two loading. Here's one, and you can see another blue uh, there. There stands the other one. So to move them from uh, the wall to the loading table, here and here we're st standing two soldiers, one there and one here. And here you have to use your muscles. You lift from the magazine, from the magazine up on the loading table, and there are this one. And <coughs> and here you push it. And it went down there, and it was pushed below this man sitting here. He was sitting below the gun's computer. It's this one, the computer. Under it, through the wall, and on the other side of the wall, it must change direction from laying to standing, 90 degrees, because it's still 10 meters up to the gun. And in the worst place, the gun 10 meters up there, it must be fed with one big piece like this one, every second second. So you understand, of course, this must be very high quality of every small piece of the, of the loading tank. And the two types of uh, uh, ammunition here were explosive missions and sea uh, uh, target. Mission. You can see that here. This one is an explosive mission. Uh, uh, and the, the, the yellow here is explosive, it's powder, and on top, on front of it, there is a small radar. This radar, it feels when the, the grenade is 50 meters above the target, it explodes. That, that, that uh, shell is to uh, uh, area target, an area target, and two soft targets. But this one, this is a uh, um, sea target uh, shell. Here, here come the, the shell goes that through the wall. And in this one, they changed direction and was lifted up to the gun, 10 meters above this place. Yeah. And here you can see the gun tower. We are standing here now. Ammunition room, that one, is that one. And here's, uh, we are standing here. This is empty, and here you can see blue. But uh, um, be below, below me, there is the shilling water container. And the water gets from that one with these tubes up to the gun, to shill the gun. And this empty space, it's very big, because here goes all the empty shells when they have, they have fired. Leerhülsen. So, th this is made for 800 Leerhülsen.